The blazer is off. The hair is up. The cleats are on. Joining me now, two scouted soccer athletes who we will talk to in just a moment. And to my left here, I've got Joey Fournier, Louis Riel, athletic director and soccer sports study coach. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Do you think that I'm going to be able to uh, challenge I your boys? I think so. I think so. I really no doubt. don't no think doubt. so. Considering the program that you have to offer at Louis Riel, I don't stand a chance against you two. But you know what? I'll do my best. Before I take the two of you on, tell me a little bit about uh, how these two gentlemen and how people who are interested in soccer in general would get into the program. Well, we have a. Uh they have to do a tryout. Okay. They need a letter of reference from their coach, mm -hmm. soccer coach, and there's a certain uh, academic standard that they need to uh, attain. A 70% average 70%, you need to have yeah. in order to get into the program. Right. Okay. What are you What are you going to learn in it? Well, every day they they'll do in the afternoon they'll do some training, mm -hmm. either soccer or physical fitness, and then some days we'll have a nutritionist come in. We'll have a sports psychologist who works with us uh, at the program. Mm -hmm. So they learn, we're, we're trying to develop not just athletes, but uh, good human beings, if you want. Okay, well, because don't you think in order to create a successful and accomplished athlete, they need to be well-rounded? Of course. They need to have the right values. Okay. It's all, it all starts with the values. Of course. Okay. Now, are these two boys the first people to be drafted to make it as professional athletes? No, since the uh, creation of the program in 2005, we've had five boys recruited by professional teams. All right, and how many people are you training each year? Uh, we train up to 50 students every year. Okay, so it's relatively focused then. Yes. It's yes. not a huge, huge group. How many coaches are working with the athletes? We have two soccer coaches, including okay. myself. All right, so let's head over and talk to uh, the two boys. We've got uh, Abdu Samaki, a grade 10 student at Louis Riel, and Jan Alexandra Filion. How are the two of you doing? You're in grade 10 as well? 11. Okay, oh, grade 11. Okay, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I I'm great. How old were you when you first started playing soccer? I was four. Actually. Four years old? Four years old, so it's been 12 years. Okay, so you're barely walking and your parents are putting cleats on your feet? Yes. Okay, and, and what about you? Uh, I was a little bit older, I was 10. Oh. Yeah. Wow, that's a really short amount of time then to get as yeah. good as you have. Yeah, well, I've been training a lot. Okay, so what has <laughs> the program taught the two of you? Well, it taught us like uh, how to manage school and, and uh, just sports mm -hmm. uh, at the same time because we have a uh, training in the afternoon, so we really have to manage your time and become more responsible. Is that tough sometimes? In my mind, all I would want to do is play soccer. It is, yeah, because you really have to stay focused because you have to stay, keep it a 70% average. Mm -hmm. So really you have to make the both of both worlds, really. Okay, and uh, where do you want to go eventually? Well, I'd like to play pro, yeah? maybe in Europe, but uh, first, obviously, I'd like to play for the Montreal Impact. They're the first one that gave me a, a chance. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And what about you, Abdu? Uh, same for me. I would like to play pro with the Impact. Yeah. yeah? And what about going overseas? Is that an option for Canadian players? Well, it, it's becoming an option, but you know, like the, the Impact are really the ones that give us the chance to, to like, go into their academy. So we really want to push to become pro with their first team. OK, what position are you guys? I'm a midfielder or a defender. All right. And I'm a goalkeeper. Oh, you're a goalkeeper. Yes. Okay, so we should be shooting on you. And uh, Abdu, you know, I was a, a midfielder in uh, college. <laughs> that does not say much. But uh, do we want to have a bit of fun? Yeah, sure. Okay, what are you, what are you gonna show me? I'll show you like a juggle move. You can do, you know, a juggling. Okay, yeah. Something. Okay, I'll, I'll do my best. Sure. Uh, okay, Jan, will you hold the uh, the microphone? Of course. Yes. Okay, let's uh, let's see. So to start, you can just I don't know. Just Point it at Abdu, Jan. Come on. Here's your start. lesson in broadcasting. You mastered soccer. Now it's time for if broadcasting. You start. He doesn't need to eat the microphone. Come on. Okay. If you want to simple start to juggle, you can just you know just flick the ball up like this. Start juggling. Oh, geez, I hit the camera. Okay, we're off to a good start. Okay, I've lost my ball. Okay. There's also I don't know maybe moves. On the ground, you can do it to beat defenders. You can do some. Uh, oh, you there got we that. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a seventy percent average? <laughs> maybe, I don't know about that. Maybe you're ready to join the impact too. Oh, this. you think so? Eh? Okay, yeah. let's uh, let's take a shot on uh, Jan Alexander. Are you ready, Jan? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh, he's got the footwear on for sure. Okay. Oh, hey. Yeah. High five. <laughs> Are you second guessing yourself? Oh, uh, yeah, I am. I How do you am. feel about your goal with Yan? Oh my gosh, I feel so great. You know, I mean, we all like uh, 
came together out there and really fought as a team. Is and I think contract? that we <laughs> Thank you guys very, very much for coming in. Yeah. Thank you guys very much. That was a lot of fun.